And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Legend of Legaia. Last time we went through Never Ravine to uh, set the time space bomb, but oh no! The Delilah siblings are um, were waiting there for us all along. And if you hear that uh, boss music, that's because the moment we get out of this map, of this map, of this menu, the fights will start and they're all one-on-one. -on -one. So let's get this thing started. So actually, dealing with these guys is reasonably pretty simple. Uh, I am going to need to re-enter some commands here. Where is it? Oh, that shadow bringers. Uh, that's also not it. There we go. Now hopefully you don't start blocking all the damn time. Cause this is going to this is gonna last a damn minute if that just keeps happening. Lose this feeling of pain! And that doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay, well it does do a whole lot of damage if you, uh, even if you're defending, but like, that's survivable, right? If you're not defending for that, you are going to freaking die. So pretty much the pattern is spirit, attack, spirit. Heal, attack, spirit, heal, attack, spirit, heal, attack, spirit, and so on. That's going to apply for all three of them. <laughs> of course, as soon as you save state, you do it in the Let's see if I can do the same. Okay, let's go ahead and use a healing flower. Then we attack. In fact, we counter attack. And then spirit. I might be able to just do Vera for this. Maybe not. That's not gonna top us off, I don't think.
No. That's okay. Alright, um... I'm gonna use a different one. Didn't get to counter that time, unfortunately. Are you kidding me? Come on! Block the entire thing. Okay, if I if I have to do this again from the beginning, I'm giving you the guardian chain because that is crap. Go ahead and use a healing berry. Hope we don't die. Okay. You know how I said it was okay that I didn't uh, get myself topped up? That almost uh, backfired on me. This fight's gonna last four hours, like holy crap. Hopefully land a hit or two. Okay. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know what I'm giving you yet. But Gala, you get the damn, uh... You get the Guardian Chain, because this is... This is ridiculous. Uh, what do I give you? You don't need the Evil God Icon. Sure, I'll give you the rainbow view. I don't know. Okay. Enough of this bull crap. You thought you were so you thought you were so cool just defending everything? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen anymore, buddy.
すぎるぞ。Maybe I should have got more healing berries, honestly. Now the the drawback with using the guardian chain is, I'm not going to be able to block either. So pretty much it comes down to hoping that I counter, so I can save some now. Some damage here. I suppose it's worth trying to see if、uh, this does more damage. They both cost the same number of,、uh, of AP.、Now、that does about the same amount of damage. About a thousand. Well, what I could do is a Thunder Punch followed by a Lightning Storm. This hyper art on hyper art.、Yeah, it's gonna be expensive, but with all this damage that、uh, Che keeps pumping out. Okay, yeah, that that is that is what I'm doing. Thirteen fifty nine. Yes, please. <laughs> It's taking way too long for a fight that's part of a set. Yeah, and this is just the first fight. Yeah, I remember being. I remember this being a massive pain in the ass when I played this as a kid.
I I don't know if it's if it's worse. That this this is just a pattern that you need to realize exists. And I don't know if I ever realized that as a kid. I honestly do not remember. I'm not gonna counter that one, I guess. Ooh, that uh, might have been a little too much damage, possibly. I kind of wish I knew what Che says there. Oh, that is that is really low. We might not survive actually. Oh, 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 oh. Giving us a chance. All right, I'm gonna take it. All right, come on, counter. Yeah, there we go. How much health do you have? I think we're getting there, but like... It's still gonna take a little bit. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Young Me uh, got through this fight by using the point card. He's falling down, that's good. And you know what what would have made this even more interesting, and I don't know if they could have done it with this engine, but basically have all three fights happen at the same time. Oh, okay, we're we're good. That was almost very bad. But um, like have all three fights happen at the same time, and so when one of the fights uh, is over, then you'd be able to jump that character into someone else's fight. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the turn where I attack. Uh, that's a lot of hammer use, I don't like it. One or two more of those, though. Hopefully we can manage that. And I feel like it's going to be kind of a crapshoot whether I'm going to have the opportunity to use a healing barrier on my next turn.
Because that's a really low number. It's basically going to come down to whether Che decides to use his hammer twice or not. Uh-huh. Okay, we're good. That was healing turn. Not gonna have attack turn, you're not gonna be able to counter. It's not a terrible amount of, of uh, damage. You're dead. And for that we get the Thunder Book 3. I bet you can't guess what the other two are gonna drop. How? How could this happen? Here, kid, I'm gonna send you to the next world. Um, I am going to make a different save state. So this is gonna be a lot the same. With one main difference. You see, there is something about the ba the battle system for this game that I didn't quite remember correctly. And that is that for some reason I thought that I needed an item, a piece of equipment, to be able to do this. Turns out, no. So let's just do it right now, shall we? Miracles! So yeah, that's a thing. Now those you have to use a little bit more judiciously because they do cost 99 AP to perform and you do need 9 slots in your bar. Noah has the item that cuts her AP consumption in half so I can pretty much just do this continuously. Anyway, here's Lou's super. Too bad. Uh, let's see how well hmm. actually Noah is faster than Lou. So I wonder if I want to actually attack now and then heal next turn. I'm gonna have her use items as well. Also, this fight ain't gonna last very long. And spirit up. Yeah. 
Go ahead and use our miracle arts. Then this turn healing. I'll use a barrier of flower. I'll use a flower. Yeah, that was funny. the fun part too. I can actually block part of this attack. Alright, here comes the funk. And down she goes. But Noah, Noah trouble at all. No, this can't be. How can I lose? I can't lose. Kill you for what you did to my brother and sister. Yeah, but Bond didn't do anything. Let's go ahead and save. Just for good measure. Time for Gi. So same pattern. Spirit attack, spirit. and then either heal or attack, and then the other one in spirit. And of course, Vaughn also has the life grail, so I may not even need to do that much healing. What were we doing while they were fighting? Uh, so how many attacks did we get? Ah, uh, just short of nine. Well, still got some some uh, super arts we can do. Uh, actually, let's do a run on high. Then... This might take a minute. Oh, let's see first how much damage this does. That's not terrible. At least if I'm blocking it. Um, so let's do... Let's do Fire Blow twice. Well, let's input it correctly. Yeah, I think that I think that's my uh, that's my move here. Uh, then I'm going to use Vera.
may be able to rely less on items for Vaughn because uh, he does have his passive heal per turn, so... Scare it up. David Schwimmer! Well, at the very least, they have their style down. I hope you get well acquainted with my elbow because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. 12.06, nice. Let's use Vera. Stabby stabby. And this is my defense turn. So this might take a minute. Oh jeez, I don't want to do that. This might take a minute, but it's uh, not going to take as long as... Um... Why do I always freeze up on names? Like, seriously. Uh, Gala and Chase fight could have lasted a lot longer than it did. Y'all saw it. Hero. In case, in case things go terribly wrong, I still have my point card. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, fully loaded right now. Well, fully loaded in that it will do 99, uh, like 99, 99 damage, which I think is the most that it can do in one turn. Yeah, block that one, you jerk. Yeah, I can block your attacks too, buddy. You know what? Like, Vaughn's able to keep his health up pretty well. I wonder if I could use that heal turn to cast instead. I like 205 damage and I restore 200 at the beginning of my turn. This is going to do about 350. <laughs> Yeah, 368, so yeah, like, 
I'm gonna try that this time. So instead of healing, this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do an attack. That was a crazy taxi. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, I'm still in a decent place as far as health. Like, I'm not in danger, really. Kind of block, blocks part of that. No? Okay. He's also falling down, that's a good sign. Okay. Um, I am gonna heal this turn now. I was like, about 600 health is, uh, 5 to 600 health is what Veer is, uh, rated at, basically. Very, uh, very heated battle that we're having right now. Both of our uh, competitors are fired up. But eventually, one of them is gonna go down in a blaze of glory. Playing better safe than sorry here. I could probably have done an attack this turn rather than heal, but like, why risk it? You gotta do three, uh, three duels in a row before you get the chance to like properly save. So. Once more, and this should hopefully do it. No? Still standing, huh? Alright. I am convinced, though, that this is going to be the turn. Let's just do something here. Oh, I didn't have enough, uh, oh, that was, yeah, he was on the brink of death. 
I didn't have enough for the um, for the hyper art, but it didn't matter. I don't know why they just kind of yeeted themselves into the ca into the canyon there, but whatever. Dreadful Delias family. All right, everyone, let's set the time space box. Okay, I put my time space bomb in place. I hope they explode after three seconds, not sooner. All we can do is press buttons and run like demons. Ready? Press on the count of three. Three, two, one. The button is pressed. Now run, run. One. Ah, Dr. Trasha, you liar. So the, the Delilah's family is super dead now. Or not. Brother, I'm a wreck. Help me, my brother. Stop whimpering, Jay. I, I'm right here. Where's Lou? Is she alive? I'm right here, my brother. <laughs> so even the brass say we could not finish us off. Look, Koru's still alive. The thermal energy. The thermal energy he stored in his belly for so long. Let's release it. Brother, do you mean the three of us will merge with Koru? Correct. Lou has left that precious to you. No, of course not. <laughs> In doing so, we, li we lay waste to all of Caristo. I like it. Listen, we must use our remaining strength. Those Rosseri will wish they'd never been born. Uh, ah! Make us, make us one with your life, and your fate. Ah, oh, Vaughn! The light is so bright, what's going on? Such a strange light. No, Vaughn, look, it's Koru. The light is coming from Koru. Huh? But we blew up, we blew Koru up with the time space bombs. It seems that the, the Dalilases have merged with that Seru and commanded it to self destruct. If Koru blows up, everything between here and Sol will be vaporized. No! How could this happen? Ozma, how can we stop them? I don't know, but since they are controlling Koru, perhaps if we defeat them... Whatever we do, we'd better hurry, we'd better do it quickly. So yeah, we gotta fight Koru now. The plus side is, now we actually get to save. The other plus side is, this is not going to be a duel. Um, let's leave things as they are for now. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but uh, I'm feeling good with this. 
I'm gonna top everyone off. Uh, let's go ahead and use some magic leaves. Yeah. If we need to rearrange our uh, our equipment, that's fine. And the important thing is we actually get to hard save this time. There are final bosses with less phases than this bit. We have to jump down to where Koru is. Are you ready? Might as well jump. To this family, don't be stupid. Stop what you're doing. Yeah, if Koru blows up, you guys will die too. <laughs> we are all prepared for death. Once Karisto is flattened, Lord Zora will build the kingdom of the mist there. If you want to fight us, come on over. We'll play with you until the explosion comes. That suits me just fine. Be careful, Gala. If we don't finish this quickly, we'll be caught in the explosion. So yeah, we um, we gotta do this in as few turns as possible. If we go more than four, then the world blows up. So let's start with spiriting everyone. Now obviously this boss doesn't just have 100 HP, this percentage of HP here. Another twelve hundred, that's four thousand. About 5,400. That is, that is 28 percent of his health. I don't think we're gonna make it. Okay, we're probably going to have to do this again. What I think I'm going to do is everyone on their first turn will use a Fury Boost, which will extend their um, their attack gauge to spirit length. So then they can just let loose from there. I might also use the point card. Wonder Elixir... Uh, I'm going under the assumption that I'm not going to get it this turn, the, this attempt. Uh, well, right now I'm just kind of strategizing, seeing what I could be doing.
One thing that I don't think that I need to do is heal. I don't think this fight is going to last long enough for me to need to heal. Uh, just for fun, you use the point card and see what happens. That's your warning right there. Okay, point card did it. I am okay with that. Delilah's. But what about Koru? Feel that warmth? It must be heat escaping from Koru. And that's how global warming happens. <laughs> Sarah, inherently neither good nor evil. Koru too became evil only because of the mist. Sarah merely amplified the strength of humans. Whether a Sarah does good or evil ultimately depends on the person using it. But Tara, you're a good Sarah, right? Hmm. We raw Sarah are the way we are, because we have been in the human world too long. Now, let's go back to Buma. Okay, the ice in Boomer must be melted by now. Ah, and it shunts us right out of the dungeon. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save right now. Go back to that doctor guy and teach him what three means. I think after after our trip to Buma, we might very well just do that. But uh, let's go ahead and use our books. Noah can now use Explosive Fist. Noah can now use Hurricane Kick. And Vaughn can now use Burning Flare. All right, and save. Just for good measure, so that we don't have to do that again. I'm honestly surprised that the uh, the point card is just what we needed there. Like I I'm willing to bet that we actually didn't get it by that much. Like Noah's attack plus the point card was just bang on. Oh boy, acid slime is just what I wanted to see. Yay. Uh, 
Now at least we got rid of one of them real quick. Please stop melting me. I I do not appreciate this. You are not a gelatinous cube. Okay, um let's get everyone to attack. Power up you say. That's what I think of your power up. Genesis trees have thawed. Car is probably not too far away as well. Hopefully she'll uh, make good on her offer to give us that Ross over, right? Ma, hey! Vaughn, Gala, I don't believe it. Boom isn't frozen anymore. Right. I didn't know Boomer was such a beautiful town. Stop standing around. Come on, we've got to wake up the Genesis tree. We'll go ahead of you. <laughs> what an impatient girl. Come on, come on, let's go. Excuse me. It's melting. The ice on the Genesis tree is melting away. It's just like Dr. Usha said. We can wake up the Genesis tree. Trees plural, Noah. That's right. Since there are three Genesis trees, let's split up. Vaughn reached out to gently touch the Genesis tree's trunk. He felt the gentle warmth in the palm of his hand. Noah swiftly reached out to touch the Genesis tree's trunk. She felt a quiet power in the palm of her hand. Gala reached out powerfully to touch the Genesis tree's trunk. He felt pure joy in the palm of his hand. Why is this place so special that it gets three Genesis trees? That's my question. Well, by the power of the Genesis tree. Z. Mist has been expelled from Booma and its surrounding area. And probably for a little ways out, considering that there are three of them.
With the power of the Genesis tree, Meta's level increased to level 7, Taro's to level 6, Ozma's to level 5. We did it, Vaughn! All our hard work has paid off! I'm so happy, Vaughn! Terra feels stronger now! Feels pleasant warmth. Who would have thought the Genesis trees had such powers? Kara? Well, excuse me, but I was watching you the whole time. It's amazing. So the Genesis tree of Buma had such powers after all. I thought that it was too late for us to do anything. Um, Kara? May I have that roster rig that you have? Now that Buma, your home, is back to normal, it's back to normal. You don't need the roster rig anymore. Sorry, but I haven't got my time back yet. So please, just leave me alone. Uh, Timmy707, hey, how's it going? Kara, what are you doing? I buried something here. That day, I buried my heart here. Does that work right now? Ha uh ha, -uh. and humid. Oh, uh, I'm probably about as humid as you are, to be real. It's not too terrible with the windows open, but uh, still Atlantic humidity. I'm sure you know all about it. <laughs> There's nothing we can do, Vaughn. Let's leave Kara alone for now. I didn't know you could bury your heart and still live. No, I just don't get it. Well, considering that, uh... Oh, something's happening. What's this? Oh, and Gala! Look in the sky! It looks like Soren! My goodness, ugh. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but uh, I'm yawning like a pro here. Yeah, I think there is a heat warning effect too. That's not helping things. Human-like bodies, but with zero wings. Those are sword, all right. They must have found out about Buma's genesis tree. They've come to take a look. Hey, Soren, it's me, Noah, over here. <laughs> no, you're too far. They can't hear you. I wish the sword would land over here. Hey, that's a good idea. If we had their help, then we could get to the floating castle where the mist generator is. We just have to talk to those sword. So how's water in the underground park? Wow. It's been a couple of days, though. That's, uh... I mean, that was a lot of rain, but I hope that we don't get another one like that because, like, holy crap. For anyone who's not in the know, by the way, um, so we had this massive 16-hour thunderstorm uh, during the weekend and also about uh, something like 80 to 100 millimeters of rain. And uh, yeah, there was a little bit of flooding in the in the HRM. Twenty meters from the Sackville River. E. Yeah, I I figured you meant meters because like Canada, we tend to not use miles here. 
The sword, they're gone. Hey, it's Kara. <laughs> Kara, you're bleeding. Your hand is all bloody. Kara, is that it? Is that what you buried in the ground? <laughs> Go ahead and laugh if you think it's funny. You're right. This is the only memory I have left. This is the music he, Rantes, wrote after hearing my song. It must be love. That's great, Kara. This stands for your love. I don't know much about love, but let me see that. <sighs> no, it took the music score from Kara. I'll take this music to grant us for you. Leave it to me. Oh, thank you. We don't really have time for that, but oh well. Please do this for me. I'm sure that if Grantus hears that song, he'll change his mind. Oh, looks like people are waking up already. We're between Saul and Conkrum, who won technically Conkrum. But uh, really nobody won. Anyway, before we go anywhere, let's uh, have a look around. People do seem to care about uh, Kara here and Grantes. Ah, I see. You're not supposed to touch the, the Ross air egg, and if you do, well, say goodbye to your wings. East General Store or West End. Ah! Chew! Darn it, I think I caught a cold. I definitely caught a cold. You know, weird Saru. So cold, my body is freezing. Why was there a healing fruit in the fire? That's my question right now. Now let's go ahead and use the end, why not? Do we need to actually? Yeah. Uh, well, we can. We could do with the use of the inn. Sure. Let's hear your story. Before the floating castle started spewing out mist, I saw something. I saw Soren flying from the east to the west. But there was something funny about the way the Soren was flying. So I looked closely, and I couldn't believe my eyes. That Soren was carrying a child. It turns out this is the child. That was Noah. I know that was me. The Soren was carrying me. Oh my goodness. So was the, that was you? What a coincidence. So that wasn't an illusion after all. Well, let's find the Sorum. They can take us to Conkrum. Yeah, there's still mist outside. Fortunately, Boomer's safe. But for how long? Yeah, let's go uh, have some rest.
see if there's maybe some items. Mount Dini to the northwest is a certain sacred place. Can't get in without something that proves you're a Sorin. So I'm guessing Grantes will have something like that for us. We're selling, famous for selling new Seru from Urmias at wholesale prices. Why does wholesale exist in this world? That's my question. There's something in your fireplace now. A lousy fireplace. Ooh, metal armband increase AP accrual 25%. We can get more war souls here. But uh, first and foremost, let's uh, boost up our equipment here. Get another chicken heart if we really want to. Now let's get uh, let's get that up to fifty for good measure. I think I might do some more uh, farming for money after the stream here, just. Uh, to shore up our funds and make sure that we have enough for the rest of the game. I'm also gonna buy two of these, just for good measure. And two of these, so that everyone can have one if I want to. That also gave us a crap load of points in our point card. Um, I think we're pretty much good on everything else. So provided that uh, Grantaz hasn't changed locations, he should still be in Soul Tower. So let's go ahead and use a door when we get there. Actually, before I do that, this is Thawne. There's a fishing spot. We have a fishing rod. Let's try fishing. I'm not going to do a whole lot of this. I just want to show it off. Also remind myself of how this works because honestly I don't remember how to play. I press the cross button. When the power gauge on the right moves, press the cross button to set the power level. When the lure hits the water, turn the reel and try to catch the fish. When a fish is caught, the message hit will appear. The fish's life gauge and tension, uh, and tension gauge will appear on the left. To recast, press the circle button while turning the reel. To turn the reel, press the square or cross buttons. To wind the reel at regular speed, press the cross button. If you wind the reel all the way in, you'll catch the fish. But don't wind the reel too fast or it'll create too much tension in your line will snap. Getting a hit depends on how you wind the reel, where the lure is cast, and the depth of the water. So we can get some neat stuff here, including a life grail for everyone. I don't know what these flutes do though. Also, a magic grill for everyone be, would be nice too. Uh, spirit talisman, what does that do again? I forget. Oh, yeah. so there was a shadow there. I guess he went over there. No? Where are the shadows? There's like one over there, like every time I cancel out of this, it moves where it is. Well. We caught a fish. Catching a blue marlin? Probably not, Zero. Okay, um, let's, uh, oh, we're using the old rod for one thing. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Oops.
Ooh. Triple rainbow. <laughs> Triple rainbow, we get fewer points than the little one. This is just getting worse and worse. What the hell is this? I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what it is, but like... We're just getting crap for fish here. Uh, same score as small. I think it was, yeah. a different one at the very least. 75 points. Anyway, if you're so inclined, you can keep doing that. Get things for your points. Uh, this, this is going nowhere slowly, so let's just go to Soul Tower. Maybe if I feel inclined, I might do some grinding, like, on my own time, but like, yeah. That wasn't particularly promising, let's be real. Uh, so we're going to Seoul. I don't know if I said hello, Zero, but hello, Zero. Get this window out of the way. Okay. So I think the jazz club is on the fourth floor? It's the muscle dome. There it is. All right, Grantes. Look at this music. A piano player. I know who's a piano player. This person. Good tune, eh? If you have any requests, just bring me the cheap music. Here, here's some music. Play this. Then we'll give the old cheek music to the piano player. Hmm. This is so... so simple. Hmm. Well, are you gonna play it or not? Alright, I'll play it. Jeez, what an impatient young girl. <clears throat> This doesn't sound this simple. I'm not going to say it's particularly complex, but it, I wouldn't call it simple. God. 
it is. You know what? The missing moon is all gone now. This Booba. This is gone. I know I'm young and inexperienced compared to you, but I'll tell you this. Now, I don't know what happened to you in the past. I don't know whether you hurt the one you love. You can turn your back on your past and sit around as, uh, despondent about the future. But I have no respect for someone who tries to kill his own spirit like that. That... that song... Did Kara... That's right! Kara loves you and... She wants you to remember that love. Kara said that whatever happens, that love will always be true. Kara said that? I remember now. That's the melody she was playing my flute the first time I saw her. It came down to the surface following that melody. That's when I found Kara. She was playing the flute. No, a horrible man. Didn't take responsibility for the love I felt. You think she'll forget me? I don't know. But let's let's pretend that she will. She see she seemed to be so inclined. Sorry, fellas. I'm still spending too much on others. And I realize that. Taught me a lesson. Now that the mist is gone from Boom. I'm gonna go to Boom on my two on my own two legs and tell Kara. Tell her that it's never too late to change. As long as the desire to change is there. Maybe if I tell her that I'm grateful from the bottom of my from the bottom of my heart. Maybe she would forgive me. And I'll be waiting for you. Both of us together, be ready in Boomer. I'll be okay, right? Carl will forgive Grantes, right? Even with Grantes the way he is, love was still alive. The miracle was sure to happen. Wow, oh, you're great. Golly, you know everything about love. <laughs> love. <laughs> The, the, the teachings of Byron say strength begets love, and well, uh, Gora Megazord, thank you for the raid. Um, I am Coolio, if you don't know. This is Let's Play the World live. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, currently streaming A Legend of the Gaia on Tuesdays, as well as uh, Archipelago Multi World stuff on Sundays. Um. We're not going to go a whole lot longer here, but um, why don't we stick around? Wow, well, you're great! The guy's going pretty good. Um, we're most of the way through. Uh, we just revived the Genesis trees in Luma. And uh, Grant is on the way to uh, talk to Kara again. Fun stream stream. Well, yes, yes, indeed, I am DC Bueller, and also thank you for the follow. Oh, so you're playing uh, Legend of the Guy as well? You know what? Let's do this thing. Oh, shout out and not mention the user. Oh, that is a word. There we go. It's a pretty good game. Like, I, it's been a while since I've played this game. I have played it before. Uh, finished it at least twice, if not three times. Um, so yeah, let's go to Buma. Yeah, 
Yeah, no worries. They call it Puma, but I haven't seen a Puma around. Seems like a wasted opportunity. Uh, so let us go and... What am I looking for? Door of Wind. I also... I know that uh, Tyrion, you mentioned it before. Let's see. Let's see if we can go um, remind Doctor Usha of what three means. After that, we'll head over to uh, to Buma and uh, see what uh, what happens over there. What? There's still mist here? This is this is too far from Buma that there's still mist here? That seems uh unlikely. You'd think that since there are three Genesis trees, that the uh, the area of influence would be a lot like a lot larger, but now nah. apparently it's just a set distance from where the Genesis tree is. Out of my way. Doctor, you got some splitting to do. Do do you know how long three seconds is? It is the amount of time in which Noah can count to three. Okay, it, it is not the actual, like, whatever you think three seconds is, no. It's all about how long it takes for Noah to count to three. And last time she counted to one. Work on your timing, buddy. And I'll, I'll, alternatively, you can just make your bombs such that they work like the um, the holy hand grenades. So rather than be three seconds, it's a count of three. They just put it down there, push the button, and go one, two, five. I mean three. <laughs> Anyway, that was entirely a waste of time. Let's go back to Duma. Yeah, I, I started by not remembering that those exist. And now, now that I remember that they do exist, I've been using them rather profusely, especially since they're pretty plentiful and cheap. And a dang way. Where is Kara? Have you seen Kara? No? Okay. Probably in one of these houses. Not this one. Probably not in the end. Well, there's a cutscene here. And there's a car right here. And there's a Grantes here, so I, I wager we're in the right place. So sorry, Kara. I, I... It's all right, Grantis. Now that you're at my side, everything's all right. It's me, Noah! I'm here! <laughs> here to ruin the mood! Kara, Grantis! So you made up, huh? 
actually, I, I we're, we're just. No, don't embarrass them. What do you mean, Gala? If you don't mind, I'd like to hear what happened. I don't mind. Why don't you tell him, Grantes? I was torn between my love for Kara and Sora Ma. It was then that Zora, the master of the, floor, the floating castle, appeared to me. Zora said that she would, that she would give Kara several wings if I helped her. Like a fool, I believed her and stole this town's raw several eggs. There were three eggs. I gave two to Zora. The remaining egg I gave to Kara. That's this one here. He gave it to me and said it was a symbol of our love. But of course Zora lied. <laughs> she never gave me cereal wings. I escaped with my life, but my sword people found out everything I did. As punishment for breaking sword law, they took my sword wings and banished me to the surface. For ten years after that, as you know... Rantis left alone. Carl was alone too. I understand. Yes, I was alone. But you saved me. First, I didn't want to give up being sword, but now I'm ready to live in this, as a surface dweller. With Kara. Oh, Grantes. Love! That's love! I know it! Love is wonderful! I hate to interrupt, but we have to see the sword. Can you help us? <laughs> Alright then. Here, I'll give you this. Vaughn now has the sword flute. This is a flute the sword used to call for help. The surface dweller has no use for it. If you want to meet the sword, go to the summit of Mount Dean and play this flute. The sword will think you're a sword and fly right over to you. <laughs> Also, I want to give this back to you. Vaughn now has the light egg. This can't help me anymore. Hooray! Grantis and Kara are good people after all. I love you both. Aww. Noah, we must get going. We don't bother, we don't want to bother to the two lovebirds, do we? I don't really understand, but since you know about love, Kala, I'll do what you say. Hmm. And then they both <clears throat> anyway. Um so yeah, let's take a look at the items that we got. So we got the sword flute. Simple flute that sword used. So I guess we just automatically use that when we get to the, te the top of Mount Dini. And if I would have to guess, the top of Mount Dini, well, Mount Dini itself is probably beyond that large giant glacier. That um, large giant. Great choice of words. Uh, but yeah, that giant glacier that was uh, blocking the way north. And uh, we also got the light egg. If I can find it. You all know how good I am at finding things. Okay, so that's just light guard, increased defense against light powers. I wonder if it's more effective than the uh, related jewel. I'm pretty sure there's a jewel that does the same thing, right? Um, 
Right. Luminous Jewel. Increase defense against light powers. And so does the Light Egg. So, If I had to guess, the Light Egg is probably more effective at doing that. Gordon Megazord, thank you for the follow. Let's at least make our way. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, after this fight equip the silver compass just to uh, get there a little faster. Actually, it might have been more smart to make this a, um... I mean, I guess Noah's just gonna spend all the AP that she does have. Might have been a better idea to make everyone spirit up this turn, but, uh, well, we made our choice. Yeah, I did, um, I did a bunch of grinding at, uh, in soul, basically. Because I don't know if you know the trick for grinding for money in soul. And if you don't, I'd be happy to tell you. So, uh, it turns out the slot machines, at least in soul, are very imbalanced. Uh, so if you start off with about 50 to 100 coins, uh, you can easily just get unlimited coins. All you need to do is uh, turn on turbo and just go with that for like an extended period of time. And just the way the machine is balanced, within um, like even if you go like super speed, within a matter of like a couple of hours you will have just hunt, like tens of thousands of coins. And then you just use those coins to buy a bunch of stuff from the coin shop, resell it at the equipment shop, and suddenly you have a million G. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, turn on the uh, equipment and switch the I'll switch the Wonder Amulet for the Solar Compass. And actually, let's also use the Chicken Heart. Yeah, it is a very useful trick. Now, I don't know if that works uh, with the machine in Vidna. Um, I don't know if it's like the same machine with the same uh, with the same RNG, but um, it might work. But the one, the one in Seoul definitely works. In fact, like, I started with a single coin, played a few rounds of Baka Fighter, ended up with 50, and just used that to, um, to, to grind up. Like, I don't know, I don't think I've bought a single coin, actually, this run. 
I just started with the 10 that I was given in good mode. Yeah, for sure. Like, if, if you have the option between Sol and Vidna, then Sol is absolutely, absolutely what you have. Honestly, I forgot how hard the Muscle Dome Coliseum is. Like, beginner is easy, but like, as soon as you go to Expert, I didn't last very long on expert. I think I might I might have gone like three rounds. Well that looks like a mountain to me. Looks like a mountain with a cave opening to me. Uh, let's just attempt to run away and fail. Hmm, excuse me. Actually, Noah's not doing too great. I might actually, uh... Hang on here and spoon things up here. This was probably an unnecessary amount of healing, but uh, let's just make sure. We have the MP to spare. Noah's really enjoying her battle gym. Oh, there's some counter action. Yeah, just, just to give you an idea where we were today, um, I had the fight against the Delilah's family. I forgot how hard that, especially Che is. Uh, so now that we've tagged out Dini, uh, I think that'll show up in the, um, on the Door of Wind. Door of Wind. There it is. No? Oh, it must be because it's not a town. I mean, technically, or, uh, Usha Research Center is not a town. Or Mayas is ruins now. <laughs> but, um... Well, anyway. Not overly important, I think. Uh, actually, before I save, let me take off that uh, that evasive equipment. We shall not be needing that. Uh, so I'll give you. Maybe the ivory book. 
I will give you back your evil god icon. Do I want to keep? Do I want to keep the guardian chain on? This is kind of a kind of a risk of both ways. I think I will keep the guardian chain on because, like, that way Gala might not be able to defend anymore, but he can counter, and that's better than any defense. And if he can counter and has the Guardian Chain on them, the enemy has no chance of blocking. So those two actually play pretty well together. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, the trees in Buma have been revived. As has the love between Kara and Grantez. Now we need to get to the top of Mount Dini to summon the Sora so that we can get up to uh, Conquerum Castle. But that shall have to wait until next time. So, thank y'all for dropping by. Thank you to um, Zero, DC Bueller, Tyrion, Timmy707, and Goron Megazord. And thank you to Goron Megazord for the raid and the follow, and to DC Bueller for the follow as well. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle where we're going to do some Archipelago shenanigans. Uh, the next version of Archipelago is uh, on the horizon. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but Release Candidate 1 did come out on Sunday, so hopefully soon we'll... Uh, will be able to get into a new version along with its six new games including of course bumper stickers uh that takes us round week round wheel to our next long run stream next tuesday at 9 p.m atlantic daylight time we're going to continue our run of legend of the gaia get up to the top of mount dini and see if we can get all over to uh Conquern castle so that's going to do it for tonight Thank you for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know. Also getting destroyed by humidity. And I'll see you guys next time.